What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Palette and Gardening Edition. And in this video, you all will be going with me as I, uh, we'll call it spray and ward out the rodents okay yeah so as you all know i've been having rodents in my backyard garden area and that's some um, raccoons uh possums cats like yeah yeah there's there's the footage yes yes i i have um i have footage right and so even with all of that going on it's like okay there is something that i have to do things that i have to uh create and uh so i look stuff up because of course as y'all know i have my whole garden situation going on back here so i didn't want any like foreign objects to come back here and mess up the soil and all that good stuff back here so i looked up to see what organic type things or not necessarily organic because these items are organic but things that aren't harmful to my here crops right and i didn't want to use like any any of those like things okay so here's a simple simple trick and method that we can use to mitigate the raccoons and all those possums and stuff like that from coming into our backyard so the solution water bottle spray bottle picked all this up from the Dollar Tree then we have some boom soap okay and then lastly we have some ha cayenne pepper okay cayenne pepper soap and we're gonna have some water so now what the objective is with this whole situation we are coming up with our own spray concoction that's gonna ward off those pests now the idea is you have this is a real factor right the cayenne pepper and the spray bottle which i'm going to put some water in here but they sniff right raccoons possums all those things cats they sniff and when they get this into their nostrils it sends them on the tingy and hopefully out of my backyard okay so i'm going to spray this all around the fence area because i notice when i come out here to try to like get them away they all run this way right and i'm a point where this way is when I spray y'all gonna go along with me but I'll make sure I douse heavily this cayenne pepper and the idea behind the soap is that it helps for the spray substance to stick in the area in which you spray right so the soap keeps it down locked down and all that good stuff and this is what keeps them away okay so let's go ahead and fill this here bottle with some water and then I'm gonna put the cayenne pepper in there well Honestly, I could put the cayenne pepper in there now just to show y'all all that good stuff. And then I add the water and then I add the soap. That is like step one. I have a step two that I'm going to do as well, which is I'm going to plant cayenne pepper trees. Well, pepper trees. It's not cayenne pepper, but it's pepper trees, hot peppers, because they hate that smell. So I'm going to smell it up in the back because I hate when they're back here. Get it? Hate them being back here. They hate the smell put the smell where I hate them to be and I won't have them anymore okay so let's go ahead and put some water in here and let's do what it do I'm gonna show y'all where to spray because it may help you <laughs> now let's go spray it up and so you want to look in areas where, like I have a fence right here, and you want to look in areas where there could be some entry points, but nonetheless, I'm just going to spray, right? I'm just going to spray down here, and no, it's going to keep them away. Uh-oh, let me check my spray. All right, so what I'm doing is taking this here container of cayenne pepper and just sprinkling it all around my raised beds and my containers just a little sprinkle because when they smell it it sends them in a frenzy and it will not harm your plants and things like that okay so i'm just spraying it freely and liberally because it's only a dollar it's only a dollar so you know doing a nice border around and so I've already done around those uh, raised beds. So I'll just spray along the front as well. And then as I did over there already, I'll just come over here and get these areas. Make sure it's nice, coated, and protected. 
And so I'm gonna also to take the spray and do the same with the spray. But I wanted to give it a nice sprinkle in the interim because this is where they come up and play. They all come up into the back area and they come down the stairs over here. And then at times I'll find them over here in the herb area, as you all saw in the videos that I've done before. Um, but now I'm gonna take the spray and spray as well, right? Just spray now. I sprayed the top part off, so obviously it wasn't the most durable. It was only a dollar. So I need to find where the nozzle spray went. And I'm gonna go ahead and find that. And then if I can find it with enough light, I will bring it back out and spray with you as well okay so i did get the chance to well the spray bottle did not spray the way i wanted it to so i just had to like open the top and just douse the area right so what i did do was douse the area along the fence because that is where i believe that they are coming in and out from because again when i hear them leave i hear them leaving out of the side and i hear the dogs barking which are indicative of the fact that where they go because the dogs are to the left of me which is where the fence is so i made sure that area was secured i made sure that area was secured with the solution and uh, again I did do the cayenne pepper around the raised beds around the buckets around the flower garden and around the patio area so I believe that this will be good I may have to do it once a month which I'm fine with if that means not seeing the raccoons the possums and the cats all around my backyard around my garden and around my vegetables and things like that again the whole solution situation only cost three dollars the soap the cayenne pepper and the bottle which I will spend a little bit more money next time on a bottle because that bottle did not hold up. So I do need one to hold up and I will pay enough to make sure that that does take place. So that part is done, my friends. That is what you can do. The three piece combo, soap, cayenne pepper, and spray bottle, which has water in it. And then also too, what I will do is to plant the peppers, the hot peppers around the four corners and areas of my garden to keep those things out, okay? So that is what you do. If you know any other solutions, please let me know in the comment section below because as you all know, we always look to learn and grow together. And so I know I do not know it all, but what I do know is I can grow with you all. So let us know, comment section below. I love you all. See you next time. Subscribe if you're new to the channel because you never know what you're going to get, okay? This time we had to go ahead and defeat some uh, rodents, okay? And tomorrow it may be something else. So I love you. I thank you. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh.